everyone, welcome back to my channel. In our previous video lesson, I explained the triangle congruence. That two triangles are congruent if their six corresponding parts are congruent. But before we proceed to our discussion, let's have my intro. So we have here two right triangles, triangle HFR and triangle JDS. And triangle HFR corresponds to triangle JDS. Therefore, we can say that triangle HFR is congruent to triangle JDS. So we can say that segment HF is congruent to segment JD or HF is equal to JD. Then we have segment FR is congruent to segment DS or FR is equal to DS. And then we have segment HR is congruent to segment JS or HR is equal to JS. And then we have the three angles. Angle H is congruent to angle J or measure of angle H is equal to measure of angle J. Then we have angle F is congruent to angle D or measure of angle F is equal to measure of angle D. Then the last one is angle R is congruent to angle S or measure of angle R is equal to measure of angle S. Sa mga statements na nakikita ninyo, itong nasa left side ay pareho lang ng nasa right side. Pwede nating isulat in this form or pwede rin naman nating isulat in this form. We use the equal symbol if we are referring to a measure or a length. While the congruent symbol if we are talking about the shape and size of a figure. So itong six statements na to ay ang tinatawag na corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Since gagamitin natin to as reason for proving, uh, we can use the CPCTC. Okay, so dito sa given figure na to, magkadikit yung triangle, dalawang triangles. Okay, and may mga markings na din sila. So, madali nating ma-identify na sila ay congruent triangles. Okay, so there are many possible ways to name the two triangles that are congruent. Okay, so in this case, we have triangle C and F is congruent to triangle C, R, F. Okay? So, that's the first one. Then, we have triangle C, F, N is congruent to triangle C, F, R. And then, we have triangle N, C, F is congruent to triangle R, C, F. Okay? Then, triangle N, F, C is congruent to triangle F, R, C. And then we have triangle F, C, N is congruent to triangle F, C, R. And the last one, triangle F, N, C is congruent to triangle F, R, C. So, kailangan alam ninyo kung paano i-name ang lahat ng mga uh, congruent triangles. So, any of these uh, six combinations Pwede. Okay. Subukan natin itong dalawang figures na to. Okay? So, in this case, wala tayong markings. Ang nandi dito ngayon ay mga measurements. Okay? So, what we are going to do, kailangan uh, pagtapatin natin yung corresponding parts niya, no? Para masabi natin that they are congruent. Okay? Let's start with the sides. So, we have uh, side JM. JM is equal to NA. Okay. Notice na equal ang ginamit ko na symbol. Bakit? Kasi we are referring to the measurement or the length of the side. Okay? And then, we have the ML is equal to NY. 
Okay? And then we have the JL is equal to AY. Okay. So, JM is equal to NA, which is 4 cm. And then, ML is equal to NY, which is 5 cm. And then, JL is equal to AY, which is equal to 6 cm. Okay? Now, paano yung sa angles natin? So, sa angles naman... We have measure of angle J is equal to measure of angle A. Okay? So, measure of angle J is equal to measure of angle A. So, which is 70 degrees. Okay? And then, we have measure of angle M is equal to measure of angle N which is equal to 45 degrees. And the last angle, measure of angle L, is equal to measure of angle Y, which is equal to 65 degrees. Okay? So, therefore, we can say that triangle JML is congruent to triangle A and Y. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa aking tinuro ngayong araw na ito and sana magamit natin ito sa mga susunod na topic lalong-lalo na sa proving. Okay? Remember the CPCTC corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay? So, till my next video, goodbye for now. God bless everyone. Thank you.